Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and uh, today we are going to uh, show you how to uh, do cascading drop down list in Angular and basic simple example right here. So here we have a country that is the select country when we select any country like USA and Canada. So their state names will be visible like that New York and California. So when we select any New York, then you can say that New York City and Los Angeles like that. So here we have just when we change in the Canada, then again the state list and the city list will be redirect to the zeroth position. And you have here you have a Canada, so Ontario and the British Columbia that is the state names. And then when we click on the British uh, that is select a city. So there is a no city is available in the British Columbia. So how to do this in the Angular? That is very easy steps to do it in Angular. So here we have a uh, app component.html file and here we have a app component.ts file like that. So here we have a app component.ts file and here these are the countries like that. So here we have a countries ID 1 and name is USA and ID is 2 and name is Canada. Okay, so the country list is actually bind with the first drop down list uh, like that. So here we have a type uh, that is app component.cshtml file and here we have a label that is for country. And here you can see that here we have a select list that is ID is country and ng model that is ng model in a banana in box though. So you can say that it is a two way binding with the select country ID. And what is the select country ID and that is the select country ID is there select selected country ID that is the number so that is bind with the number so selected country ID ng model change just when we change in the any model so on country change will be occurred so any changes in the ng model then that on country changes will be occurred so uh, selected state ID as well as selected city ID is both are the zero so city and state are the as the zero. So uh, option is select a country, the first one and the next one is ng4 let country of the countries uh, where we have a two country and the value is country id. So value is bind with the country id and the name is interpolated, a string interpolation. And the next one is the select states. So here we have a ng model and selected state id. But you notice that on ng model change, on state change, so city id will be 0. That is the city id will be 0 if we change in the states. So here we have, so select a state, so ng let state of the states and just select the uh, selected country id like that, selected country id is passed it here. So according to the selected country id, the states will be given, okay. so. Here we have that index is working right now. So you know that app component.ts file here we have is countries but the states is given according to the country id that is the first that is their name two is their name okay so states name is according to the country id and city id is also with the state id so these are the state id. So here we have to pass state is uh, selected country ID and here we have a cities so selected state ID will be there so similar like that and you can notice that everything is uh, wonderful and your country state and cities are according to the cascade link so uh, thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos uh, which is related to angular thank you very much for watching